Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're taking a look at the brand new eTrex solar device from Garmin that's just arrived in the office. So earlier in the year, we had the launch of the eTrex SE device, the black and yellow one that I've got in my hand. But we've now got a new addition to the eTrex family, the solar version that's got a solar screen on the device. So in this video, it's not going to be an in-depth product review we're just going to look at what you get in the box and have a look at some of these new features and especially the new solar feature so i'm just going to open up the box and show you what you get inside so we've got the device itself i'm just going to take the device out and we'll have a look at what else is included in the box first and then we'll take a closer look at the device so I can see here I've got a USB C to C cable, so it's actually USB both sides, uh, USB C should I say, both sides. So that will be mainly used for charging the device. You will be able to use it as a data connection, but really for the charging of the built-in lithium battery on the device. Inside some typical Garmin paperwork, a Solar eTrex quick start manual for the device and a Garmin safety and product information leaflet so that's what we've got inside the box I'm just going to move this to one side serial number of the device is on the top of the box so you'll just move the device back into the screen and we'll just zoom in the camera so you can see this device a little bit closer so it's a monochrome screen the same as the eTrex SE device that was launched earlier in the year we've got the solar logo on the front so this is a device with a solar screen so if i turn the device on its side we can see we've got a couple of up and down buttons so sort of rubberized uh, rugged, ruggedized buttons on the side an up and down button that will move between menus so it's not a touch screen unit it's all button control so a four season unit a couple of more buttons on the right hand side some quick menu buttons and um, to access menus and various functions when you start using the device so it's all button control and on the very top of the unit we've got the on off power button so i'll just actually turn that on see if we've actually got some charge in the device so i can see it's turning on so there is actually some charge in this device before we look at the screen and some of the new features i'm just going to turn it around on the back we don't have a d-ring on the back like we do with the se device which takes AA batteries because this device has a built-in lithium ion battery but on the back we have the typical Garmin spine connector which allows us to connect accessories such as the backpack tether, the cycle mount, the belt clips etc. We've got a lanyard slot on the bottom so you can thread a lanyard through the bottom of the unit if you would wish to carry it that way and finally I'm just looking for the USB-C power lead socket and that is you can see behind the rubber flap to protect it from the elements we've got where the USB-C cable goes in if you were charging it or connecting it to a PC for data connection so I'm just going to put that little rubber flap back on so that is the physical attributes of the unit I will go through the sizes the dimensions and weight I'll bring the SE in as well just to compare it side by side but the main new feature of this unit is the fact it's got a solar panel which potentially gives the unit indefinite battery life if you're using it in 75k lux sunlight conditions it will charge even when the unit's turned off looking at the spec but when it's turned on or off you are getting that backup of some extra charge from the solar panel and i'm just going to move down there actually there's a screen here on the main menu that says solar so if i go into that it will show you what battery has been increased by the solar and I have a feeling if we move down the screens it will show you different days what days you've gained extra battery gain from actually having the solar charging so like we say from 75,000 lux light conditions potentially you've got an indefinite battery but the actual battery itself Garmin are quoting a 200 hour battery life using GPS satellites only, that's compared to the 180 hours of the eTrex SE with AA batteries, so an impressive 200 hours. If you are using the dual frequency multiband, that could potentially come down to 100 hours on the battery life. 
Um, but remember again, you are going to have this backup of having the solar panel, which could give it indefinite battery or just help with the charging. I can see there's actually a little sun indicator at the top here with a 0%. So that will actually show you again when it's charging, I would believe. The other new feature of the device, so it's not just the fact that it's got a built-in lithium battery rather than using AA batteries and we're using the solar um, screen now, we've actually got what we call multi-band dual frequency on this device. So rather than just multi-GNSS where we're picking up more than one set of satellites which we have on the SE device, this device also picks up the multi-band. So if you're in a more challenging environment, there's two frequencies of signal being transmitted from. You can actually see on the satellite screen here, even though I'm inside the building, I've actually locked on the satellites with a 3.8 meter accuracy. And I can see here, I've got GPS with the L5 and L1. And if I scroll down, I've actually got the GLONASS. I've got Galileo E5 and E1. So that's another dual frequency system. And I've got the QZSS, I'm not actually picking any of those up and the BADU, which I'm not picking up at the minute in the building, and the Navic satellites. So it's a multi-band dual frequency. With this dual frequency, if you are in a more challenging environment where you've got steep cliffs to the side, you might be in a deep ravine, deep tree coverage, high buildings to the side, it helps with the dual frequency transmitted from the satellites to iron out any irregularities and give you that potentially more accurate fix. Speed of lock, I was very impressed with the Etrex SE, so I'm sure this device is going to be just as quick. And again, remember, I'm sitting inside at the moment. The window's a little distance away, but I'm sitting at the minute. It's just changed their four meters accuracy. So that's a really good accuracy considering I'm inside and really it's a line of sight instrument. <clears throat> so they're the two main changes with the device that we've got the solar screen with the built-in lithium battery and the multi-band. But I'm just gonna go through some of the other features, which are the same as the SE device, but just so you've got an idea what this device will do. So we've got, basically on the device itself, it'll get smart notifications from your phone when it's paired with the Garmin Explore app, so notifications will appear on the screen. There's no tone, tone alert or vibration, so you have just gotta keep an eye out for those notifications coming through. And it does have a digital compass as well. So that means when you're standing still and you're following a course on the screen, that will still be lined up with your direction of travel rather than the devices um, that used to be sold where we didn't have the electronic compasses such as the eTrex 22 model, um, eTrex 20 model or the eTrex 10 model. You had to be moving for the map screen and the course to line up correctly. So this unit does have the digital three access compass. We've also got live geocaching. So if you just um, pair the device with the app called Garmin Explore, you can actually download geocaches with live information directly from your phone. And then once your phone's downloaded those geocaches to the unit, you don't need the phone with the unit. So if you're into geocaching, you can do that. We also use the Garmin Explore app on a phone to transfer GPX routes tracks etc to the device so get you don't actually need a computer to do that Garmin are putting this unit very much to be used with the Garmin Explore app any activities you record in the unit you can sync with the Garmin Explore app so you can see where you've been with the device what we do really like about these new eTrex devices this includes the SE device when it's paired with the Garmin Explore app you can actually download offline topographic Garmin maps to the Explore app. So even if you've got no mobile data, no Wi-Fi, the device itself will transmit its satellite location to your phone using the Bluetooth. And then on your phone, you can open up the app just to check where you are on a map because this device does not have a map as such. It is just a monochrome screen with, if I just go into the tracking, just to give you an idea, you're just gonna see a black line in front of you if you were navigating, you don't actually have maps on the device itself but when it's paired with the Garmin Explore app you can actually see yourself on a Garmin map on your phone even when you've got no mobile signal or wi-fi so that is really useful and um, a useful feature of the device so really it, it's taken on the features from the eTrex SE that came out earlier in the year but adding on the dual frequency multi-band um, feature and of course the solar with the built-in battery and like all the Garmin handheld devices, it's a tough 
outdoor device, water resistant and tested to IPX7. So I'm just going to bring the SE back in line with it just so you can have a look at it side by side. Now on paper the sizes are not an awful lot different but I'm just going to show you first side by side. So you can see there that the solar one's just slightly taller and if I put them above each other you can see it's probably ever so slightly wider. Depth wise I'm pretty much it's about the same so I'll just turn them round, put them side by side and of course the screen sizes are literally the same give or take a millimetre or two and it's a sunlight readable screen as well so what's nice and um, it's got a nice good resolution decent number of pixels even though it's a monochrome screen it's easy to actually view the screens in bright sunlight we have done a lot of testing with the SE device so if we look at the sizes of the device it has a physical dimensions in centimetres of 6.4 centimetres wide so it's actually a centimetre wider and sorry not quite a centimetre a half a centimetre wider nearly than the SE so the SE device um, the yellow one was 6.1 centimetres wide this one is 6.4 centimetres wide it's 10 and a half centimetres tall the solar compared to 10 centimetres tall on the SE and the depth is 3.1 centimetres on the solar compared to a 3.3 centimetres on the SE device so very similar in size there's not a lot of difference weight wise the e-trex solar with the built-in lithium battery is 141 grams the se device with a couple of AA batteries comes in at 156.5 grams so it's actually slightly lighter with the lithium battery and the screen display is a 5.5 centimeters across the diagonal which is the same on the se 240 by 300 and 20 pixels so it just gives you an idea when we compare the two side by side so we'll be doing more videos as we start using the unit and more review videos it was just to give you an idea of what you get in the box and what the new features were on the solar device you'll find it on the gps training website www.gpstraining.co.uk under the gps store and handheld devices Remember, with any GPS device you purchase from GPS Training, you do get our gold support package, which includes loads of videos on using the devices and email and telephone support from ourselves. We haven't put any new videos together yet on the solar, but they will be coming. But to be honest, the functions and using it are going to be exactly the same as the SE. So the videos there for the SE will basically be used with the solar, but we'll add some new videos to do with the solar side of things and setting up the multi-band um, side of things on the satellite. But other than that, all of the SE videos will be exactly the same for following courses on the unit, navigating with it, marking waypoints, using the trip computer and the geocaching, etc. So I hope you found this video useful on really our initial unboxing and just talking about a few of the new features on the brand new Garmin e Solar. And thanks for watching.